Hello, this is tutorial on 11.382, 11.482. This one here, we're going to be finding both the area and the circumference of circles. And uh, I've got a couple of detailed examples done up there for that first one. So where I jump down and get away from that, and I'll give you the opportunity to, to watch me teach you a couple of other ones. So let's take a look at number five here. So first of all, we need to find what the area is equal to and then what the circumference is equal to. Well, here are the two formulas. The area is going to be equal to, or can I write this? I'll write A equals, um, area is equal to pi r r, pi times r times r. Uh, and the diameter, sorry, the circumference is equal to d pi, the diameter times pi. And for both of these, we will be using 3.14. So let's just write it down here. Let's uh, First of all, let's do the circumference. The circum circumference is the diameter times pi. So I'm going to put in 30, and I'm going to multiply it by 3.14. There it is, the diameter times pi. And up here, you know, it's going to tell you that the long line in the circle is the diameter And the short line in the circle is the radius. It's easy to remember because diameter is a longer word than radius. Okay, so we just pop that in. We'll get it. Uh, so take the 30 times the 3.14, and that equals 94.2. 94.2 equals 94.2. And we don't have um, a measure there, so we're just called call, use U for units. Okay, so then the area is going to be pi r r. So if the diameter is 30, then the radius is 15. So this is going to be 3.14, and it'll be times 15, times 15. Notice I'm using brackets because it's a little bit smaller, easier way to write. So 3.14 times 15 times 15. Let me just pop that into it. There it is, pi r r. It's like a sailor or like a pirate, pi r r. 3.14, whoa, 3.14 times 15 times 15 equals 706.5, 706.5, and that's going to be units squared. So there they are. So number five, we're just going over here for number five. five a, the area is uh, 706.5, and that is units squared, and the circumference is 94.24 and that is just units all right let's try just a part of this one here uh, so this one here number eight we are going to have to find the area and the circumference well the area is easy here because you have the 9.5 you have the radius so we're just going to put 3.14 That'll be times 9.5 times 9.5. You put that into the calculator, and that's going to be your your area, your circumference. We've got to have the diameter, so we're going to double that. 9.5 times 9.5, and your calculator is going to tell you that it's 19. So that'll be 19 times pi, which is 3.14. The equal signs, the equal signs. There's your circumference. Just pop them into the calculator. Pi R R and D pi. Let me highlight those. This is area. Pi R R and here's the circumference. D pi is around Napoleon. Don't ask. Sorry. Have a good day. Bye.